I know you're loved by the fans there, but it didn't exactly start that way. When you first were traded to the Blues in 95, they traded away Brendan Shanahan for you. They loved Shanny. You got a, you actually got booed by the home crowd at the beginning, didn't you? Yeah, I was public enemy number one. <laughs> it wasn't the, uh, it was not the easiest of transitions. Nor, I, normally you get booed in the away building, but I was getting booed in the home building. Um, it, it was not easy, but I think that's what makes this that much sweeter is uh, uh, fighting through that adversity. And, and you know, I, I didn't exactly uh, blow the doors off with my play either. So uh, getting through that, learning how to be a pro. What would you say, though, is the biggest misconception out there about you? Everybody always points out the the mean streak and the, the quasi dirty play. Uh, and they forget that I was a good passer. They forget that I could quarterback a power play. They forget that I killed penalties. They forget a lot of the other stuff. And that's okay because <laughs> the the mean side created this mystique and created uh, the edge that gave me a little extra time on the ice, allowed me to you know, buy an extra half a second to make a play or, or what have you. Uh, but there's a little bit more to my game than just that. Did you ever, though, do something that you ended up regretting? Like, did you think, oh, I went a bit too far there? Nope. <laughs> I love your honesty. As Berkey says, when, you dr when you're driving fast, you're bound to get a few speeding tickets. So they it comes with the territory. What would you say you miss the most about being an NHL hockey player? The rush of adrenaline as you're coming through the tunnel onto the ice and you can feel the energy in the building as a as a playoff game is about to to start and and just you know being in that moment and, and kind of relishing the the buzz in the building and and what's at stake and the momentum swings and things like that it, it in everyday life that's very hard to replicate what do you not miss at all about playing in the nhl uh i don't miss waking up sore every day however i still wake up sore every day but um you know, I just just a toll it takes on you. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't change it for the world, um, but it, it certainly takes its toll. And uh, you know, though that's the cost of doing business and the the cost of playing a a physical sport at a high speed on blades on on ice. <laughs> I enjoyed every minute of it. I had a blast playing, and uh, uh, you know, if I could do it all over again, I would. I saw last month you joined Twitter, at Chris Pronger. You've got like way over 17,000 followers already. First question, what took you so long? <laughs> um, you know what? I, I talked to a few friends of mine that actually worked at Twitter and know me, and they were like, you know, you need to, I would hold off. I wouldn't engage in the masses. Uh, there's a lot of stupidity on there. I haven't gotten into any Twitter battles yet. I'm unwilling to get into a, a keyboard contest with somebody who I don't know nor care about uh, when they're being rude or disrespectful. So I just hit the block button and move along and engage with those that, uh, you know, want to have a, a real discussion about real world issues and real world life. Uh, happy to participate in that type of stuff, but uh, uh, the, the silly uh, kids kids games can can run along with where they belong. Chris, what do you think is going to be going through your mind as you see that number 44 being raised to the rafters on January 17th? Uh, you know, a lot of pride um, on a number of fronts. Uh, you know, I think happy, you know, is kind of the last piece of a long career. Uh, you know, turn the page on hockey and, and 2.0, 3.0 will fully begin. <laughs> you know, it, it's uh, a lot of pride, a lot of uh, humility, and, and certainly to go up with uh, the cast of characters that are going to be up there. And now, Bobby Gasoff, Bob Plager, Barkley Plager, Brian Sutter, Brad Hull, Bernie Federko, myself, and 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 Dan Kelly. Um, you know, it's pretty special to be a part of that group. Well, it's an honor that is very well deserved. And uh, congratulations to you. And thank you for spending some time with us here today. Thank you.